Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my new tutorial. I get a lot of people asking me how to make intros and can I make them intros. So I'm going to make this tutorial for Adobe After Effects, just how to make a basic intro. Just tips and hints for anyone who's new to After Effects, this should be able to help you out. So, uh, should be a bit of a long tutorial. So just keep watching till the end, you'll learn something, probably. So go File, New to make a new project. But I've already got a new project here, so we'll go Composition, New Composition. Now we'll just call it a tutorial and 1280 by 720 is good for YouTube, 30 frames per second and 30 seconds. So here we go, here's our composition. And we'll start off with the background. So every intro needs a background, so we'll go layer new solid. And we'll just call it BG or background and make comp size so it's exact and we'll click OK. And say if we don't want it white and we want a nice gradient like I always do, we'll just go ramp and copy that in. And that pretty much makes a nice gradient or ramp background. As you can see, this is just a standard linear black to white. We can make this radial, which I always do, and change the colors to suit our intro. So just drag the circles into the center and drag this one out. And that pretty much makes it a nice sphere. So it's in the center and it's fading out and it just looks pretty good. So we'll just change these colors to say a white and a silver color because they're the two colors I like doing for intros. Just looks kind of professional. And alright, so that's pretty much it for background. So you can just play around with the ramp settings to create your own unique background if you like. And we'll move on to text because every intro needs text. So we'll go up to the T or you can press Control T to select it and just type your text. So I'll type in Infuse Media. As you can see, mine's white. You can change it over here in the Characters Options. If that isn't there, you'll have Effects and Presets and you can just click across and change your text. So now I'll drag the corners out to scale it and there we go. Uh, as you can see, that's that looks pretty centered, but say if it's not, uh, you can go to your little thing down here and go Title Action Safe and then you can pretty much make it perfectly centered and turn that back off. So if I'm running through this a bit quick, I just did this and it came out at 16 minutes, so I'm just going to try and make this version a bit quicker. So now we'll move on to particles, because as you can see, it's, it's looking pretty plain, but we can leave it at that if you want. But we'll make particles just for the hell of it, so lay a new solid, and we'll do particles. Now I'll be using CC Particle World, if you don't have this, I can't help you. Sorry, it comes on most Adobe After Effects discs and downloads. Now, as you can see, if we go through this, there's just thousands of these little line particles emitting from this single point. So we want to change that. So first, we can just minimize our scrubbers and turn our floor off because they just get in the way and we don't need them. So we'll uh, change the longevity first in seconds to 20. So 20 seconds is pretty nice. And we'll do we'll change the producer. First we want to change the radius options. If we're going to do some camera animations, we need the particles to be everywhere where our camera is. So the further you go with your camera, the higher your radius will need to be. But don't make it unnecessarily high, otherwise it'll slow down render times and it'll just lag. So now we'll go to our physics and particle options and we'll change the line to say faded sphere. That looks good, except we can't really see anything now. And we'll change these to just a color we can see. So we'll go black. And there we go. As you can see, they're just falling really fast. That's because the gravity is 0 0.5. We'll change this to something really low, like 0 0.0001. And then if we play this, it's looking pretty good. They're just slow, and they kind of come towards the camera a bit. You can change that using the velocity if you like, but I'll just leave it at that. And just a tip with particles, uh, we'll just drag that below our text so it doesn't go in front of our text even though they're both black. Um, as you can see, if we go at the start, they take a while to actually appear, so pretty much drag that back and then extend this to the end again, and at the start, they're already fully emitted and everything's working out good. So now we'll move on to camera movements and animation. Just to make our complete our intro, make it look a bit nicer. So layer new camera. And 50, meter, 50 millimeters pretty good, and we'll just click OK. 
So it's pretty hard to just animate it with the camera. There's an easier way to do it. See if you can go up to your rotation options here, your orbit camera and track camera. You can actually rotate around, but you can see the particles move, but the text doesn't. This is because the text isn't a 3D layer. So if you look along here, there's the motion blur option, and then there's the 3D layer and the adjustment layer. Uh, we just want to make sure the box next to the box under 3D layer on the text is ticked. So now if we orbit the camera, the text moves as well. It's pretty amazing, right? Not really, but you know, just trying to get some excitement into this. So we'll go lay a new null object, and I'll show you how to do really good camera animations. So now the null object is pretty much like any other layer. It's got the two x axes, the x and y axis. So if we move this, nothing special happens. It just moves around. Look. So what we want to do is select that camera layer and get the parent tool, which is the spiral, and drag it to our null object. Now you can see if you move this up and down, the text and the particles move with it. Because what that did was it copies the null object thing, so when the camera moves, when the null object moves, sorry, the camera moves with it. So now we want to set the null object to 3D as well. So that way we've got all three axes, so we can zoom in and out, and yeah, everything's turned out pretty good. So now I'll run through basic animations. So say if we want the text to just the camera to rotate around the text, so uh, we'll go forward to 4 seconds on our timeline and open up rotation by pressing R on our null object. And just find out which axis rotates hor um, horizontally, which is the Y rotation. So say if we wanted to rotate it like that, we just need to click the stopwatch at the 4 second mark. Now move forward however long you want it to take, I'll just move forward to 6 seconds, so it's a 2 second animation and then just change this to 360 and it'll stay at zero but you'll see a one times so as you can see it just rotates around and so if we want to smooth those keyframes out you just highlight them and press F9 but that'll stop my screen recording so I'll just go ease ease easy ease sorry which is F9 a shortcut and that just fades them in nicely and out so it's not just a sudden stop and that's pretty much all you need to know. Thanks for watching. And if you watch this, and um, if you watch it a few times, if you didn't get all of it to start with, you should be able to make a pretty nice intro by just using the basic things I use there: keyframes, animations, and particles and backgrounds and cameras. That's all I pretty much use for my intros. So yeah, just keep practicing. And if you like this, please subscribe to my channel and I've got 1,638 subscribers, so thanks to everyone who subscribed to me. And so yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.